For this video, I will demonstrate a loop start versus a ground start line. The purpose for ground start trunks is what they were referred to as. They were typically used in PBX applications, such as if you had a business, such as a hospital, uh, insurance company, and so forth, they would have an in-house switching system of their own, and then they would have trunks outside lines connected to it, so that if you needed to make a call, either local or long distance, you would dial a trunk code, typically nine, and then you would receive an outside line. They had these, of course, uh, way back to the 40s up to, of course, the 2020s. The reason for the ground start is if you have a telephone that has restricted service on it, and this is mostly in the electronic and digital age. However, in the step-by-step -step and crossbar systems, they did have restriction service in them if you ordered it. You could dial nine, reach an outside line, and then call someone and have, during the, the length of your call, when they hung up, you would not receive your dial tone back. That forced you to hang up and then the uh, trunk would go unbusy in the PBX switch. If you had a loop start line and you made a call on some switching systems, both electromechanical as well as digital, if you called someone and they answered and then they hung up, if you waited up to 10, possibly 20 seconds, you could potentially receive dial tone from the phone company on that line. If that happened, you are now ahead of all of the restrictions and you could place toll calls, international calls, or um, any other type of calls, so 9110 and so forth. And at that point, it's no different than being like on a home phone. You have the world at your fingertips. So you could place multiple calls, one after another after another, if you kept getting your dial tone back on the trunk side. And the people who owned the system would be on the hook for any fraudulent or harassing calls. If it's a ground start trunk, when you call someone and they hang up, you will never get your dial tone back until you hang up and then go off hook and dial the trunk code again. So I have a lineman's test set, which is equivalent to a residential telephone connected to the line circuit that has the L and CO post-it note. So this, at this moment, is a loop start circuit. This is what would be connected to most homes and businesses. I have dial tone. And I can place a call at that time. I will make an option change to make this a ground start line. The way that the loop start or ground start is done, you have a sensing circuit, and in this case it's a line relay, that has two windings on it. One of the coils is connected to 50 volts, the other side of the coil is connected to ground, and then they are wired through the cutoff relay in this particular situation, and then over to the line relay. That allows this to be a loop start line. In order to make this a ground start line, I remove the ground lead from one of the two coils so that it does not have anything connected to it. Now I'm doing this as a cheat by just insulating a contact so that it opens up the same thing as if I rewired the line circuit to be an actual ground start circuit. This forces 
the telephone or the trunk to have to ground the line momentarily in order to receive dial tone. Once it receives dial tone, you can make your call. However, any toll restriction that is on the PBX is still into play and it can restrict different types of calls. When the calling party answers, you have your conversation. When they hang up, you will never get your dial tone back until you physically hang up the extension you're on and dial the trunk code again. This was used for hotel motel applications and the pay phones that was called coin first. They were ground start lines and you would deposit a coin and depending on the type of a telephone it would provide a ground long enough to bring up the line and cutoff circuit. So right now I have converted that line to ground start. So when I go off hook of my line test set, nothing happens. So I have a test probe here that I'm going to ground my butt set lead momentarily in order to get dial tone. So I just went off hook. So the function was <clears throat> I go off hook on the trunk, I put a ground, which is usually about a half a second, depending on the type of switching system, and then that's enough to give me the dial tone I need. This works on step-by-step, -step, crossbar, ESS, and digital switching systems.